Hello everyone, welcome back to Spar and Brawl. I hope you're having a decent day. As always, I'm joined by my co-host Sam and we're back with another new episode of Progressive Tweets. So please make sure to like and subscribe if you've been watching us for a while. And we've just recorded another Johnny Depp Amber Heard video, kind of final thoughts on this last week now that I'm taking a 10-day break. You know, Sam and I just had to make one more. And we also have some other videos up, new episode of Progressive World and a few other things. There's one big one. Oh, one video that we made against Sagar, which I mean, easily call him He's condescending sad. and entitled. So make sure and go check that out. One of the commenters, one of our commenters hates Sagar so much that he wasn't able to watch the video. Apparently I was like, okay, um, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, but, I skip, no, I skip the first thing. Yeah. As usual, it's mostly us talking. Yeah, exactly. We just put a few clips of them. And I think Every time I watched the clips, man, I was just like reassured that we called him condescending and titled. He goes like, our president? They're telling our president? I was like, yeah, <laughs> condescending and titled. Super yeah. comfortable. I think you don't even go far you, enough. I mean, I mean entitled man, doesn't go far enough when he goes like, our president? Our president? I, I mean, we've discussed this before, but being proud of like your nation and stuff in a like a in a cultural way, maybe sometimes it's yeah. being proud like that, you know, our president, our military is always like, you know, crazy. Yeah. But like, you know, coming like young nations always surprise me a bit more. Like, you know, <laughs> it's like, you know, you, you do know like you're, you know, maybe not say you're but most Amer like America was built by genocidal maniacs. Like we have like records. There's like almost there's very like recently too. Very there's recently. Literally <laughs> photographs. Yeah. yeah. Like with pictures of his skulls like and all that. You know, I find that always it's kind of like new religions that you find their craziness even more surprising than old religions yeah. because it's kind of our president. Who well, fuck you? Yeah. You know? Who do you think you're pre it's like people who are like Oh, a woman becomes an American president mm. as if like you, you do know, like women have done far greater things <laughs> than becoming a head of a, basically a mafia organization yeah. before. Like, it's just sorry. It's no, like, no, like, seriously. No, 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 no. That's I mean, I'm still surprised. I'm still shocked really at the way he talks about Saudi Arabia and level of entitlement. But OK. Make sure to go check and we that. Hate Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's the and that's the worst part. And yeah, Crystal Ball agrees no, with not everything. The country, She's the just like, leaders, obviously. And others agreed with the whole. Even Kyle, both. I mean, you know, Kyle. He showed his true colors really when he came with uh, when the he Russia, came to the Russia Ukraine and American exceptionalism. And I mean, Syria, to be honest, easy it, label to put on both of them, but. I mean, Aaron Aaron Mate is very tiptoes about this because I think he 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 doesn't want to be too mean or stuff. But Kyle was the same about Syria. This sort mm. of mm, we don't know Bashar is also an awful guy. No shit, Bashar is a we we all thought Bashar Assad was like an angel from yeah. like uh, heavens. Like you know, all oh, these awful people are protesting. No <laughs> shit, we all know that origin. Yeah, of course. Just these people who can't re deal with reality of this anyway sorry but yeah i'm so glad that happened because it's almost like now i have i feel like i have enough things to just talk shit about these people like you no, know I like mean, there there are people you you feel like i want i want to talk shit about these people <laughs> but they haven't provided me enough with material to shit on them yet now <laughs> no no and saga really did it and you know some of the comments that people left were spot on another person said you hate. know Sagar has gone from being the conservative guy I can have a beer with to just, you know, <laughs> to a piece of shit. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> to say very right, like, over the past year and a half. Although others have pointed out other comments that he's made that were also like extremely like alarming. But for me, this one kind of was the final one that really helped me make up my mind. I must say, I hate that beer analogy because I yeah, don't have no, beer I with anyone. I have well, had beer with re religious fanatics, fascists, uh, non fat Democrats, whom I it hate depends. more than I probably mean, all of them. I don't know. If they start talking the way Sagar was, like, in that yeah, way of the, the other that's and it. us, I think that's the part where he, he, yeah, he I, crosses I, a, a line in the way that he talks about it that really makes it off-putting. 
No, I love to have beer with most conservatives. I'm sure it's actually unlike Sager, who mm-hmm. seems like a nerd and loser. Yeah, uh, it, they would be fun people. But uh, I don't want them to make political decisions. I don't mm-hmm. want them to make political. I'm not interested in their poll. If I want political yeah, commentary, too. I'll go to, I don't know, I'll go to uh, RJ Escal or Paul J or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I, but in fact, I, in reality, actually conservatives may be more fun than Paul J <laughs> to have a beer with. You never know. Paul J may start talking about, you know, okay, let me tell you about the uh, economic, political economy of the whole world. Can't we talk about Sons of Anarchy, please? Is that, is that how? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, that's for sure. That's for sure. But I guess the point being that, you I'm know, I'm joking. Paul yeah. G is probably very cool and yeah. talks about Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Sons of- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you liked that show. Um, I used to. It was, it oh, was yeah. so good. Yeah, no, but I then, again, Chapo Trap House 3 <laughs> ignited my love for that show. So I've been watching oh, really? here and there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move on to this first tweet. And folks, please like and subscribe. So, Sam, maybe I'll read the first two tweets and then you can kind of tell everybody what's going on. But Madison Cawthorn, he tweeted, a new hit against me just dropped. Years ago in this video, I was being crass with a friend trying to be funny. We're acting foolish and joking. That's it. I'm not backing down. I told you there would be a drip drip campaign. Blackmail won't win. We will. And then the next tweet, this past week, the media has tried to annihilate my political career, attack my chief of staff for having multiple sources of income, attack my schedule for making a salary. We're all in our 20s trying to make a difference in politics and we'll keep fighting. So, okay, Sam, I, I just what wanted, is all this, this about? Is a, this is an example of mainstream media making a genuine non-story about, you know, two lads having fun, you know. Uh, haven't you raped your cousin in the mouth? <laughs> Jesus because? Christ, but hold on, is that the thing? Like, what's happened? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> what has not... happened? Nothing. What are, what are the allegations? Normal, normal dude stuff. I don't understand this. Like, everybody's up. In, but I what's mean, in the video? Because I haven't I watched the video. I remember my cousin. <laughs> my cousin doesn't live in uh, the same country. First time I met him, he came over, got uh, airport to house. First thing he did, he got my head and put it, <laughs> put it up between his but no seriously crap. watch the video what happened I, what I happens in the video the, i haven't seen the exact video actually i couldn't find it to be honest oh, really? i wasn't but apparently he's i don't know he's naked his cousin who, who his well, na- again he yeah he's naked his cousin is naked i don't know why they're taping this but he's apparently like rubbing his uh balls and he's basically i think what don't they call that uh what is uh, oh what a teabag tossing Tea bagging or tossing the salad or something. I've heard tea bagging. Yeah, awesome. or something like I don't, I don't. But he's he's doing some sort of a sexual crime on his cousin. <laughs> but was that consensual though? I mean, again, yes, yes, he's <laughs> laughing. He's laughing, and at some point, I heard the, the voice on Chapo guys. At some point, he says like, "Yeah, his dick and balls are in my mouth. Or something. He is in my face." So, so he is right. It is a non-story, right? <laughs> it is. It's consensual. We always say this. It's consensual. I mean, I don't, incest in, I believe in America, incest is illegal. So I don't, oh, cousin, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think, I'm just, pretty sure yeah. it's okay to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's too male cousins. So they can't hey. children. <laughs> <laughs> But man, I'm so glad I never got into any sort of a male semi fraternity type organism. Like, it, like all this stuff I see from like people in football teams slapping each other's asses. No, but you know apparently you who know, are the worst jo- with the with the fucking towels. You know, doing that. Type. And then you hear about religious schools. Everybody's sort of doing. You know, everybody's pretty much fucking each other <laughs> uh, same with military like every military organization i've like you read about historically they were pretty much everybody was gay or uh, you know all the good ones that yeah uh, you know uh, the only ones that weren't gay like the italian ones who were like went to greece and basically were more into like greek girls than conquering <laughs> like greece 
And, you know, they, they were awful at military. They pretty much lost everything. But like, and these days you hear about every military and the things they do, Navy SEALs, Iranian ones. Like, what is with this sort of a, re- I think it's repression, right? It must be that. I don't know, like, man, but out. these military guys, it makes more sense to me. Have you heard of rugby players? Like, especially in the UK, apparently they're like, huge into doing things like this too what now that it's one yes. of your own you don't want to admit huh <laughs> look <laughs> on your face suddenly change. <laughs> <laughs> military different. guys make more sense you know they're <laughs> they're you know I on a base or something but ass. rugby guys go it. to bars that... <laughs> in the uk there's nothing repressing them whatsoever if anything they also take their aggression out on the field so i mean I don't what is going on That's there. What's your explanation? No, no, man. You haven't been to an all male boarding school like I have been. Uh, so yeah, it's there it makes yeah. sense. There it makes well, sense. The, the rugby thing guy. plays rugby. That's who true. Do, 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 all That's true. rugby is all public school posh boys who have been uh, you know sexually harassed by there. older boys <laughs> <laughs> and their teachers. <laughs> so you know, uh, not that I was. I always as uh, this is Dylan Moron. I think likes to say in one of his stand-ups, I always felt extremely left out because <laughs> when I found out that everybody was sexually abused except me. <laughs> but yeah, but and, yeah, I mean, and I, frats right, also do right, stupid shit. But I mean, them, they like decide and like, in advance and then like do I stupid remember, shit. And this was, by the way, I, 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 do, I even found it weird at the time. But I remember in high school, boys would slap, you know, girls thing ass or pinch or stuff and thing and very wrong very all bad but i couldn't what is going on in locker like you've been to in a football team unlike me or basketball team come on tell me what's going on are you all having an orgy no. like all me tell me it, it's okay i'm as long as there is consent uh, i don't care man tell me is no it- no i mean i don't remember there wasn't like ever like the changing like you know because i wasn't like it's not like in the u.s where it looks like they they like train three times per day and hang out in like the locker room like for half the day so i, I mean i'm not surprised it looks like they're always in the changing room so might as well <laughs> yeah it's like it's make the most of it camp almost. Yeah. <laughs> well man yeah so he, he ter- and man as the again will from chapter chapter as guy says the best thing about this whole saga is the fact that like as soon as the video come out, apparently the video is quite grainy from a mobile mm. phone and stuff. And you know these days with deep fake, and sh- Prince Andrew said he, the picture of him with the girl yeah. was like, if it, like within three minutes of the video coming out, he was like, yeah, there is a new hit piece on me out. <laughs> it's definitely me there. So you know, it's definitely me fucking me. <laughs> yes, that's not really a hit, hit piece, really, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, if it's true, is it a hit piece or is it just, uh, you know, if it's, it's just public information? Uh, man, it, by the way, he went, uh, his cousin went with them, with his, with him and his wife on their honeymoon to Dubai. Uh, I mean, they're close, him and his cousin, clearly. Eh? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, clearly. <laughs> Clubs. So why not? <laughs> did you? But did you go on a proper honeymoon? Um, no, not really. All right, I just yeah, I want to. All right, no, when not. You do, let me know. <laughs> Can I come? <laughs> you don't. You can't rape me in the mouth, but I like <laughs> nice. to come. If it's there, but... Oh my god! Okay, should we transition to the UK? I think this is a good time to segue actually to <laughs> yes. the UK. Because they've come up a few times. So, <laughs> Labour leader, I'll read these two tweets He's kind of back to back. Kind of... Well, <laughs> Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, <laughs> to be questioned by police over beer gate claims. And then the next tweet by BBC, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer calls, uh, Sir, sorry, Sir Keir Starmer calls for MP and Chancellor to resign. Boris Johnson That's and Rishi older. Sunak have broken the law and repeatedly lied to the British public. Okay, but I mean, I guess you can still put in the whole story together. Yeah, so, yeah, as I think regular viewers or people who follow British news know, there was the whole party gate in which conservatives were basically having like raves every night at number 10. <laughs> yeah, basically. And then, 
and then uh, Burchard's son, you know, finally got you know investigated and fine. And then Keir that was Starmer party gate. Decide, that was party gate. Keir Starmer decided to you know focus solely on that instead of policies and that and destroying the left of the party and rehabilitating Tony Blair, Peter Mandelson, all the good guys. And then uh, you know he he went on. There's an interview. I hope maybe you can clip it or something. There's an interview where he says. Boris, and by the way, Boris Johnson went to the parties, the raves and all that, you know, he was doing, oh, 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 <laughs> was doing all that. That's, you know, but, you know, uh, but Rishi Sunak, as far as we know, apparently was just once. And Rishi Sunak, anybody who's seen Rishi Sunak talk or, you know, just seen him knows that he's probably got a curfew of eight <laughs> o'clock. I, I doubt he's allowed to go out later than that he's in there he's just a child he's he he wouldn't want to go to a brave he's like oh i'd like to finish this uh, paper if it, <laughs> if it's okay I, I i i would no i don't like loud music do you have any bass over there? I can listen. <laughs> anyway but um yeah so you know one time though he was in a room when they brought a birthday cake for boris johnson and then like had one beer or something like once he was in that so cheer stormer appeared on tv and said they have disgraced the office of prime minister. This office, this office from which, you know, great people like, you know, Tony Blair, <laughs> David Cameron, the Seriously. famous pig fucker, uh, you know, Tony Blair, the famous, you know, uh, the killer of Middle East, as he's, you know, known in, around Middle East, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, Churchill, the, uh, the, the, what, what, I don't know, what, give me, the, uh, mm. The butcher of Bengal, I don't know, you know, all these people, you know, all the, he has disgraced the prime ministerial office by, you know, having a, you know, beer and a couple of raves and jello shots, uh, you know, and he should resign. So should Rishi Sunak, the chancellorship, the office of chancellorship, you know, oh my God, oh, uh, all that. And now uh, then their video came out that, uh, or a, you know, I don't know, reports came out that he had a beer and a curry with another uh, uh, MP in their office. And now there are leaked memos that apparently it may have been planned. Uh, there are some reports, according to Noir Media, that there are some people talking that there may have been a buffet and all that. So, you know, it may have been actually a party. So he's been investigated. And if he gets fined, he should resign right According that's what to he was minister, saying right in that tweet yeah, that's diane, what he was asking for yeah exactly and diane abbott is the only mp labor at least mp so far that has come out and said he should reconsider his position if he's fine uh, uh, uh diane abbott is a sort of an ally of jeremy corbyn sort of uh wing so you know i really hope this ends it i really do I really do hope. And I like to, by the way. I heard you too. Yeah, point out, you know, conservatives are having like parties, raves, they're doing jello shots, <laughs> strippers are coming in and out. You know, they're having, you know, uh, there's a like a donkey show and all that, you know, going around. Then, you know, goddamn labor, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, shall we order some curry? There's a buffet as well. Oh, Jesus. Like we suck, like again. Like, left sucks at evil. Like, Jesus. Like, at least have fucking, at least have, like, he, like, Borussia also, like, at least had 60 different rapes. And uh, probably, like, you know, I don't know, five different, I slept with five different strippers. But, yeah, man, and Keir Starmer, although he got some decent wins, right? There's this one win in the local elections in London. They're touting out to be such a thing, like, they're touting it, but it's, yeah. it's pretty bad because even though it's higher than the vote share of Jeremy Corbyn in 2018, all around England, he actually decreased the vote share from oh, okay. uh, the time of Jeremy Corbyn. So, and it's really funny actually that right now they're going around in a sort of a schizophrenic way saying that, oh, it's just that, you know, that uh, London, uh, like we got more because, you know, we got, we got rid of Jeremy Corbyn, but in the other places there is still, no, no, because we haven't. Uh, there's this oh man this this laura kunzberg who some well oh, i, I know hate Kunzberg. her so 
She's the BBC. She's you've definitely okay. seen her. She's the main BBC person. She's awful. She's the most. She was actually by Ofcom. She was fined over bias, uh, over Jeremy Corbyn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She yeah. she this asshole is now reporting. Oh, there is the Labour MPs are saying there is this such a thing as long Corbyn. Oh my oh, god. Oh, and by the way, we have an article lined up. I'm just doing a bit more research about long COVID that I definitely want to do. Which I'm, well, I'll save it for when I have my evidence <laughs> full in hand. But Yelena Kerbin, oh, go. And she's going to become the political editor of BBC or Newsnight. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Um, yeah, British yeah. stuff make me really angry. No, <laughs> but I mean, Pierce Stormer, if, if he gets out of the way, that would, I mean, because he is just. That would be great. <laughs> so lame and pathetic. Such a Democrat. I mean, such a US style Democrat. But. Such a loser. Um, Okay, Sam, let's keep this party rolling. And yeah, I was telling you, there seems to be some trouble in paradise. Yeah, I, <laughs> quote, I quote. haven't seen this. Um, so Glenn Greenwald tweeted, Tesla is covering travel costs for employees seeking out-of-state abortions to benefit workers afford, um, affected by new restrictions. Musk voted for Obama, donates massively to ACLU, now this. Yet is called right-wing because he supports free speech. So I'm also just going to read you a small paragraph from the article itself. So Tesla is covering travel costs for employees seeking out-of-state abortions, joining the ranks of major companies who've introduced a similar policy to benefit workers affected by new restrictions in the past few months. The company said in its 2021 impact report released Friday that expanded the safety net program and health insurance offerings last year to include travel and lodging support for those who may need to seek healthcare services that are unavailable in their home state. So not bad. First of all, um, Tesla, I guess um, you can say that. Um, not at bad, first... not bad. But but it, this is I must say this is like you know he's not doing this because he cares about left or right. Not that I think he's oh. a right wing or he's left wing. This is like you know this is buying support. This is this is a like this is I like I re, by the way Roe versus Wade uh, thingy forced me to actually uh, care like I paid like I asked a couple of people about the laws in Iran. Uh, the new president has banned abortions. In case of uh, in cases of incest and rape and mm. uh, wow. medical issues, so I I think this is just this is just I mean I can't believe we are again here. This is yeah no no for this, sure. This is not something that somebody should pay for it or this is like this is should be provided. F- fucking hell. Yeah no this no is, I definitely agree. But like I was saying, trouble. <laughs> In paradise, because the other paragraphs in the article, of course, talking about how um, in Texas, though, they're trying to put legislations in place and punish companies. Oh, that's provide, paradise. Yeah, provide um, support. Yeah, that's the paradise, Texas, um, that, you know, provide kind of provide these kind of services. And apparently Rubio, uh, yeah, Marco Rubio, right? He's or the other one. He, um, Marco he passed, Rubio is Florida. Yeah, Marco Rubio is Florida. But the the other. Uh, Ted Cruz. Anyways, Ted Cruz or one Ted of Cruz. them, I forgot. They've introduced Cuban. Also, they're trying to introduce. Yeah, they're trying to introduce some legislation to prevent companies from providing these kind of services. Yeah, so a bit things aren't. By looking, the way, uh, <laughs> a little bit of trouble anybody, in paradise. Yeah, any pundit that tells you they're not gonna do, they're not gonna, they're not gonna ban the, you know, pills that you can order through the post for now, uh, you know, abortion pills and all that. They're going to go after every, they're not going to go after like, you know, uh, yeah. the, the divorce laws. They're going to they're gonna go after everything. They, they let out like for years, uh, fucking these conservative yeah. monsters on the top, they supported some of the worst monsters in this world. And now the chickens, you know, now we yeah. are seeing the results, you know. Yeah, no, now, I'm uh, now it's it's a monster out of their own even hands, and they, most of them are rich anyway. They can get anything they want done, so they won't care for. Them. As Jesus. Anna was saying, <laughs> but yeah, let me actually read this paragraph to clarify the people. So, Texas State Representative Briscoe Kane, a Republican, has said he would propose legislation barring local governments in the state from doing business with any company that provides travel benefits for employees seeking abortion. And then the article goes on to say that nationally, 
U.S. Senator Marco Rubio introduced a bill on Wednesday that would prohibit companies from claiming tax deductions for such cost. So his is pretty small. Um, but yeah, so, you know, you get some freedoms anyway, in Texas, the... but, you know, such as lower taxes, but also some other um, lack of freedom, I guess, however you call it. You know, the <laughs> all, and the ultimate purpose of this uh, bullshit stuff is that, you know, as long as we are still fighting for such basic rights that everybody should be given to no matter what, yeah. nobody's talking about the uh, oil companies, nobody's yeah. talking about the arm companies, nobody's talking about the you know, econ- and- political economy of the country. And we are still have to fight over the most basic thing that should be none of anybody's fucking business. Fuck off, you yeah. nosy pieces of shit. And you know Go what? back to where, whatever cave you came from, you assholes and you know what it's actually a really important issue so although the democrats might weaponize this and the democrats might make this their only issue that they talk about in order to get votes if the democrats would actually like you know next time they're when they're in power let's say um, like let's say then in two years or whatever i mean they're in power right now let's say in two years they run and that and they actually turn this you know codify this and turn it into a law that makes abortion legal I mean, that would still be better than anything else that they would ever do. It's just that the bar is so low. So at the same time, it's a real issue that if they campaign about it, it is, it's a real issue. But again, they had like so many years and so many opportunities to do this under Obama. They, and, they still and, do. And, and they it, still it do. Still yeah. November. yeah. So at the same time, although they're like, you're like, I know you're messing with us, but at the same time, I, we want what you're messing with us with. So it's just such a, they got their yeah, hands on a good issue, you know. They they win elections with all their power over a lot of bigger non-issue bullshits. Now they they have something in their hands that is, although they it's, it's completely really, disingenuous. Yeah. It's completely disingenuous how we've reached this point, but at the same time, it's something like okay, if you get that out of the Democrats, at least I mean, you know. But yeah. Yeah, since to be honest, I heard about this Iran thing, I really haven't mm. been focusing too much mm. on Democrats. And yeah, I don't yeah. know. Man, it's disgusting. You know, if you get raped, like you can't abort your baby, you have to have the baby, but you can give it up for adoption Jesus. or for to a. What that child, like growing up, how that. Jesus. No, I can't even wrap my head around that, to be honest. Anyway, let's keep mm. this going. Man, if this is true, I don't believe it. If this is true, it's the the publishing yeah, publishing team's I fault. Because I mean, the publisher's fault. Because I mean, come on, Megan McCain's new book, "Bad Republican: A Memoir," flops big time. Only two hundred and forty-four copies have sold since it was released on April twenty-six. Let that sink in. Two hundred forty-four copies. No, man, come, come on. Um, this is from yesterday, seventh uh, of May. No, Sam. Like, come on. Like, I mean, with her name and stuff, and usually they put her these kind of books at the airport and people just grab it for no reason. They're like, eh. no, no, it can't I'm... be 244 because I'm guessing it's a big publishing company just based on the access and where they would put her books. Wow. I, doubt, I don't know. Yeah. And usually Republicans like organize all these busts, like, you know, yeah. Scientologists type. Maybe. Yeah. But I mean, uh, Chapel Trap House, but we should we should be one of those. We should be 245th person who buys the book because, <laughs> man, Chapel Trap House guys do readings from some of her writing. Yeah. And it's so funny. She's basic. She's uh, yeah. She's the like she's such a typical like self-centered piece of shit. And yeah, I, I, considering her writing is skill, it wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, considering her name recognition, you're right. It is surprising. You know, it's she was on the view. Like, you know, come on. There, there should be way, enough. Um, there should be enough suckers out there to buy like at least a few thousand copies at the very given where they placed them. Of course, if she was like, you know, if she, you know, if the books weren't placed in keep bookstores and the airport and stuff then i would understand but that's what surprises me it's such a airport book <laughs> i'm pretty sure airports are like begging they're like no no we can sell this book give it to us Please, we specialize to a- next to the harry <laughs> potter book no, that's been selling a- non-stop book, <laughs> airport book i feel is a fictional uh, like no, you know, shit fictional book. or like this. no 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 also like for bill that, gates book crime bill clinton's spies? book 
these kind of books are always there at the airport you're too. Right. Yeah, you're no, right. No, no. Fiction. But she's not that the, level. She's, I, I, you know, you know, she was on the she's view. I mean, in, yeah. She's like okay, domestic airports in US, yeah. not like international. <laughs> but even that, come on, she's a McCain. I mean, you know, you know, centrist and uh, stuff, and even Republicans. Not like, really, oh, no, but there might be uh, something days, good yeah. in there. Yeah, I don't. Know. But yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I I must say uh, what Trump uh, did to her dad and George Bush did to her dad mm-hmm. are some of like like her dad is probably like even compared to george bush and trump her dad was one of the biggest pieces of shit out there somebody who volunteered to drop bombs on vietnamese then he stole a plane and got caught and like what a loser by the way that was <laughs> trump by the way that was trump was so right about that if you get caught you are not a goddamn hero you might be a brave person you were you know you uh, were a good soldier or whatever. you're not a goddamn hero huh I mean, if they, all soldiers are hero in that sense, I guess it doesn't no. matter if you get caught or not. I mean, no, I'm saying no, no, if that's man. the mindset. No, I, no, you have minimum for being <laughs> a hero, at least from your own mm. side's view, is to achieve some shit. You can't just, just showing up is not being a hero, you know? I guess, I mean, uh, you know, even if you accept, that. even if you accept that was like a just war, which we don't, you know? And then if, what a loser, like, you know, then got getting cocked by an idiot George Bush, you know, and then uh, asking this the person who accused you of having a illegitimate 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 child uh, to give a give you a, 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 a eulogy. I mean, mm-hmm. what a loser, cock piece of shit do you have to be? Like, yeah, yeah. I hope she sees this. I really do because she every time somebody says something bad about her, that <laughs> my dad, I'm an orphan. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah yeah i wish oh my god um whose episode is it in seinfeld the guy says that i'm an orphan now it's like a 70 year old man or something. oh no sorry it's it's in curb your enthusiasm like larry david's friend oh larry david himself he says really? that oh no his friend his friend the oh, older yeah, no. one um what's his name the, the the gentleman who actually passed away now uh yeah, the guy with a very deep voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I love him, oh, but yeah. Yeah, he says he's an but orphan now. He becomes <laughs> he's like, how oh, you're like 70. <laughs> he's like, well, I've lost both my parents. I mean, technically. <laughs> Funkhauser, Funkhauser. <laughs> Funny, yeah, yes. Yeah, he's so. By the way, he goes on Norm Macdonald show once, and it's so good. It's so good. They're both dead now. Shit. Mm. Okay, so and, unfort- uh, and goddamn Bill Clinton is uh, still alive. Jesus, what did you any? It's a vegan diet. I mean, at least he did for a is while. He? Maybe at least he did for a while. Maybe that added a few years to his life. She didn't say that. It's bad <laughs> for vegan. <laughs> um, I don't know if you heard about this news though. And Tony Guterres, the UN chief. Um, yeah, I just heard about I'm it. alarmed by today's announcement by Taliban that women must cover their faces in public and leave home only in cases of necessity. I once again urge the Taliban to keep their promises to Afghan women and girls <laughs> and their obligation to the international human rights law. So just one second, Sam. Let me just read you two little small paragraphs from BBC. At the press conference, the Ministry of Prevention and Vice and Promotion of Virtue announced that all women would have to cover their face in public and laid out an escalating set of punishments for anyone refusing to comply. The punishment, though, there is. The punishment starts with a woman's male guardian, normally father, brother, or husband, being visited at home by Taliban officials. Then, if a woman's appearance was still not deemed acceptable, her male relative would be summoned to, the, to see ministry officials. And after that, he could even potentially be jailed for three days or sent to court. Well, the point is that they want the man to enforce the yeah, I know. law, so to speak. But I mean, the punishment is pretty like, it's more like a few of them are like inconveniences. They're like, okay, if you don't apply, then we're going to ask you to come all the way across town <laughs> to speak to an official. <laughs> then no, if man, you still this- don't do anything... Maybe we'll put you in jail. Like, I mean, <laughs> I mean look, do you have to? I'm joking a bit, but you know, thankfully no, no. the punishments don't go straight to the woman or anything like that. At the very least, maybe you can say. Well, I don't know. The, the thing is, because in Taliban's view, women is the property of the man. Yeah, the property can't have. 
I mean, geez, like the, we talked about the abortion thing, this thing. Yeah. I mean, they just last week they said they might allow women to go to schools, but now apparently not. And uh, yeah, well done to all those yeah for the, the history progress. We are on a path. Yeah, we are on a fucking beat. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's pathetic. It's genuinely pathetic. And I would say, though, take it with it, like in Afghanistan, like what Taliban is talking about is pretty much two cities. Like mm-hmm. most of the people are in rural areas and, you know, they do what they want and it yeah. depends on your tribe and your region. But really, we like, I don't know what the fuck to mm-hmm. do. Anymore. Like, yeah, last time somebody tried to reason with Taliban, America, like spent 20 years bombing it. So you don't, you, what? Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just, you want to pitch yourself at like, I understand she is at this point, like <laughs> just want to start self-flagellating and just, yeah. Uh, but you know, this just reminded me kind of, you know, you're always on, you always talk about, you know, not linear progress and things stop. And, you know, in the Western world too, though, right? Like, are there more secular or more like, um, yeah, agnostic people? Not that being secular agnostic necessarily makes you a good person, but has it grown at all? You think in the past? I'm sure there are some numbers, but in the past, like in twenty the, years in, in the, the West, West, yeah, in like Europe in or view, US or Canada, or I think it's probably stagnated. I'm just that'll be my guess. My guess is actually no. In the or last reversed 20, even a bit. Yeah, yeah. I I would definitely. Mm-hmm. I would say it has changed. It's not the, the religious people, young religion. It's same with Iran, by the way. Religion has recently made a comeback to, I would say, relative to like at my generation, which was early so 2000s. Anti, yeah, yeah, it's anti religion. But no, it definitely has made a comeback. You know, you know we, we've been going through a fourth year period of uh, uh, defunding and, you know, uh, stopping public education, limiting it, changing it, allowing charter schools, allowing religious schools, allowing religious people into a school. It's just, it's just, in my view, it's yeah. just nonsense. Anyway, and w- what do you expect? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, of course, I do think, yeah, I genuinely think there is, uh, it's making a comeback. I don't know. I haven't looked at empirical studies, to be honest. But uh, yeah, and but as you, I don't know if you know, but in South America and in Africa, you know, a growing population incre- increasingly are religious. Yeah, I was gonna so, bring up South America. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, no. I mean, I, they, I must say that there needs to be a serious reckoning with and I'm, all evangelical I, all comeback as well, or is maybe it's not a comeback? Maybe it's their first rise. I don't know. But in Brazil, it also. In the United States, of course, yeah. Oh, wow. In Brazil? I, I thought Brazil so, is yeah. pretty Catholic. No, uh, yes, but uh, I I, I'm I making, know. hold on, maybe I'm just mixing something. Um, I, I mean, they're not, they, a lot of them are, although they have a lot of um, Protestant. Yeah, I mean, just the first article, Al Jazeera, I mean, evangelicals in Brazil are stronger today than ever before. Um, uh, 42 million evangelicals in 20 2010 yeah i yeah, know they're a big um, proportion the atlantic the rise of the brazilian evangelicals Man, i mean this kind of would have um, been hearing so i don't know how much of it is true or, or think, whatnot but yeah I, I do genuinely think i it's not ideal uh, and it's not a moral probably decision but i do think at some point like a state has to step in and I mean, they've done in the past, right? When they kind of separated, I guess, state most, and church and schools and not kids having to all go to very, religious schools, like Catholic schools in Canada and stuff like that. Or I don't know. I feel like most of the time the state has placated mm. uh, religion, except like maybe France or a very early United States history. Yeah. But yeah, these people need to deal be deal, dealt with, I think. And I genuinely believe not in terms of like violence and killing. They need to be dealt a cultural blow. Like... They need to be like seriously mocked, their uh, beliefs destroyed, their books like mocked or something. I don't know. Like they need to be broken the same way, uh, you know, Romans broke Carthaginians, like not in terms of killing. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand completely what you're saying. It just seems like such an impossible uh, thing these days, at least in the current environment. 
No, the same way Christians would burn like uh, idols in South America and stuff. There needs to be a significant, like, you know, uh, like the, like, uh, what do you, the idolization, taboo, because these people are going to, they're going to destroy, every, like, I mean, I hate Democrats and, you know, all those parasites and, you know, who are only after money, but these people are even probably, like, these are the, these are the genuine bad. Guys. I mean, just like, if only they're out, you know, if they're the level of their power and influence was taken away. I mean, but but if not, people like faith, no, man, people have man, so many these, people, are, people. So many people are religious sidelined. way more than like you would like you would think. I mean, so many people have I, like I faith and, you know, and it's so like That's out of why... question for them for you to even like make fun a little bit um, religion. I mean. So I, I've just given up we, <laughs> for there, like the past 15 years, to be honest. No, I agree. You're completely like that used to be the case with Greek people with Zeus and, you know, Vikings with Odin and stuff. But mm. then there was a systematic like 100, 200 year campaign of, uh, you know, just insulting their beliefs and all that. And after that, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. I genuinely believe they, they, they play care that these people too much. Like they, they should not be allowed to like uh, uh, view their religious beliefs, like, you know, signs and all that. They should be asked to cover their buildings with like, uh, 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 like this is ridiculous. They're respected for no, they're brought on TV to give their views on shit, like bunch of fucking psychos. Uh, and I'm including, uh, you know, the nice versions. I don't care about the, you know, Unitarian yeah. or no, Baha'i. I mean, you know. they're, they're all equally crazy. Uh, it's, I for really me, it's the disproportionate people. respect, though, disproportionate amount of respect, because covering and oh, all this would always backfire. But yeah, this, but, this, um, unreasonable amount of respect I don't that you're think given, you know, to... Yeah, I don't know. I Did think they, so. I, you, have you recently heard about any resurgence of the, you know, the old uh, high religion of the Norse people? Uh, are they coming back? No, but I mean, right now in this, I don't uh, know what, in what, what happened, context or how it was what done. What happened to the local religions of South America and North America? You and They got annihilated. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, right now, I can't see it. So I don't know how and what, during what kind of historical process um, the ones that you're referring to, like, exactly oh, yeah, happened. Yeah. In That's terms the of, kind all of right, thing. okay. I, uh, no, I thought, all right, the validity of my solution, I think, is <laughs> not under question. The I don't know about that, it, too. Yes. I mean, the validity at times, but I mean, that's the same thing. Those two kind of lead to the to the same thing. And oh, I like to focus mostly on the Viking and Greek example because you could argue in South America and North America it was more like genocide, basically. Mm -hmm. They killed them all. But, you know, in many places, you know, in Iran, nobody talks about the old, you know, Zoros. But yeah, they've been do, replaced but also with other religions. I mean, I guess yeah, Vikings and replace, all this, they're replaced I, with Christianity, I'd right? People, man, I, you know, people may rather people uh, become, you know, into astrology even though i hate it and carl jung it's better than this fucking bullshit whatever it it's shit but it's better than this shit perhaps but okay like oh 800 years ago so a witch uh, you know somebody <laughs> who thought if a woman was having a you know epileptic attack was a witch said that abortion is against god so can't disagree with you too much but okay I got to bounce. So let's wrap this up, Sam, with this last tweet is just, um, I don't know, just for your pleasure. Uh, you cannot convince me they aren't aliens. And yeah, <laughs> just a picture. Right, exactly, yeah. this is Zuckerberg with his team. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'll leave that for you to, to investigate. The yeah, yeah. There is something funny, but because there's nothing wrong looks... with Zuckerberg, though. He looks like that. <laughs> Maybe they're using some kind of no, no, Instagram that's... or Facebook filter. <laughs> I think everybody's eyes and faces. Just... <laughs> but okay. All right. Um, on that note, thank you for, very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. More importantly, leave your comments, questions, criticisms down below. We'll make sure to get to them. If not, thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. It's all satire. It's all satire. <laughs>